Oh, nobody's here. Oh, that's rare. That's rare. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello. Good evening. It's pressing wishes. Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Hello, people. Yes, I did it. How are you, teacher? I'm good. What about you? I thank you. Además, me quedaré esperándolo fuera porque me quito las llaves. Okay, excuse me. No. ¿Qué pasó? Okay, give me a minute because. Hello, how are you people? Everything good? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. How was vacation? Was it good? Yeah. Did you did you spend a lot of money on that one? Mm -hmm. Everything was expensive. Everything was expensive. Everything was crowded outside, pretty much. Okay, so welcome. It's nice to see you again, and I hope you had a great time on vacation. We're going to carry on on this thing that is called learning English, as you may see. Working with section number three. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, and welcome. This is class number seven, right? Yes. Class number seven. That's what we have today. So thank you so much for being here, people. Oh, my gosh. Give me a minute because estoy viendo la, la attendance y esta cosa pues no cambia. Just give me a minute because it's loading. Hello, hello, how are you? Everything good? Uh, you can miss it. My gosh. Thank you so much, people. Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Last class, we were working with a really nice topic that I love a lot, which is preposition of place. Okay. And today, we're going to carry on on that one. We're going to have a little bit more practice on that one. So we can identify how how do we deal with preposition of place. Okay. Give me a minute and let me get the attendance. You know. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Julio, welcome. Good evening. How are you? Good. Great. Nice to see you one time. How was the vacation? Was it good? Hello, teacher. Hello, Melanie. Good evening. Welcome. How are you, Melanie? I'm fine. Where are you right now? Melanie, where are you? She has problems with her internet connection because that's the good evening. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, um, Isabel. Thank you so much for letting me know. I hope that you can get well at home. Thank you so much, people. It's nice to see you. We have a beautiful Monday. We will continue working on this thing that is for um, learning English. Melanie, tiene inconvenientes con su micrófono. I don't, I don't hear you. You can miss it. That's section number three. Okay. So, yes, this is section number three. So, ya tenemos this class and tomorrow about section number three. People. Preposition of place. That is the one we're going to work today. Okay. Last class, we were working with preposition of place. So, today we will continue doing that thing. Okay, we continue doing so, and we can have a little bit more practice on this thing that is called um, identifying or to communicate where is located something. Okay, so thank you so much for being here. Yes, voy a tomar la attendance ahorita. Let me see. Yes, voy a tomar la attendance. Let's put your beautiful name. Please say, please general here. Um, Aleida Garcia. I'm Aleida. here to share. Thank you, Aleida. 
Good evening and welcome. Alicia Arieta Perez. Present teacher. Thank you, Alicia. Good evening. Good. Ana Osorio. Ana Osorio. No? Okay. Ana Garcia Martinez. Ana Garcia Martinez. No? Blanca Esmeralda Mendoza. Blanca Esmeralda Mendoza. Thank you, Blanca. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Um, Chris. Cristian Ernesto Romero. Hello, Cristian. Present teacher. Good evening, welcome. Uh, Maricela Pérez. Creo que Maricela fue la que me escribió en el chat. Let me check. Present teacher. Oh, thank you, Maricela. Good evening. How are you? Good? Thanks. Wonderful, thank you. Um, oh my gosh. Creo que me salte alguien acá. Blanca Mendoza. Yeah, teacher, presente. Thank you, Blanca. I'm sorry. Hello, teacher. Elba Granados. No sé si Granados. That's Milagro, right? Sí. Thank you. Well, good evening. Welcome. Then Isabel Zúñiga. Creo que fue Isabel la que me escribió en el chat. Thank you. I'm here. Oh, thank you, Isabel. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry to my home. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Ernesto Arias. Good evening, Ernesto. Hi, teacher. Perfect. Nice to have you. Fatima Hi, Hernandez. Teacher. Fatima? Hello. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you so much. Jessica Romero. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jessica. Good evening. What about Jessica Melanie? Well, Melanie is here, right? Thank you, Melanie. Juan Carlos López Linares. Juan Carlos. Present. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Welcome. Nice to have you. Julio Cesar Tobar. Present teacher. Welcome. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Miguel Rodriguez Sánchez. Miguel? No, he isn't. What about Nubia de AC? Nubia Daisy Ramirez de Serran. No? Okay, Rosa Salazar de Fabian. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Eh, Eunice Ruiz Morales. Eunice. Jennifer Flores. Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Nice to have you. And Yolanda Andrade de Rodas. Yolanda Andrade de Rodas. No, she is. Ok. Voy a revisar el chat. Mi nombre no, no lo mencionó. Ana Elizabeth Campos. Oh my gosh. Campos Romero, right? Ana Elizabeth Campos Romero. Yes. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry for Good that. evening. Gracias. Thank you. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. And I hope everybody is okay and safe at home. Thank you so much people for being here. Again, as I told you before, esta semana pues esperamos terminar con la section number three. Y todavía nos queda una chance tomorrow. Y luego empezamos sí, con sí. la section. ¿Sí? Dígame, tell me. Ya pasó. Lista. Ya me pasó lista. Yes, Melanie, ya le tomé la asistencia. Ok. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Okay, so uh, we will finish this section tomorrow. Section number three, la terminamos tomorrow, y luego empezamos con la section number four, que tenemos, like, two more classes or four about those, okay? Let's begin with this one. As you may remember, we're working with prepositions of place, right? We use preposition of place or prepositions of location, yes? That's very good, right? Preposition of location. Tenemos preposition in, preposition on, preposition under, preposition in front of, preposition behind, preposition between, next to, above, and near. So these are prepositions of location, or you can say preposition of place. 
Yeah. So you can say, oh, this is a preposition of place, right? Okay. So when do we use these prepositions? To communicate where is located, right? Puede ser que sea places in the city, como es el content que estamos viendo, right? O puede ser un animal, o puede ser an object, o puede ser your cell phone, o puede ser, I don't know, your daughter, o puede ser your brother, o puede ser your mother, right? Entonces, ¿para cuándo utilizamos esta preposición? To indicate where is located something like an egg. As for example, you can say, excuse me, where is the remote control, right? Oh, the remote control at home? Oh, the remote control is between the TV and the cell phone, right? Or we can say, excuse me, where is your sister? Where is your sister? Oh, my sister, she is in the bathroom, okay? Or excuse me, where is the bank where is the bank the bank is in front of i don't know the coffee shop okay or we can say excuse me where is the church where is the church right where is the church so we can say oh it's the church is the church is next to next to the museum right so we can use these prepositions to communicate about it. Okay, let's see. Give me a minute, please. Give me a minute, I'm sorry. Last material. Yes. Or is Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello, bye, thank you. Oh, that's very good. Welcome. Nubia, right? Uh, yes, Nubia. Uh, your last name? Daisy, Daisy Ramirez B. Uh -huh. Yes, Ramirez. Yes. Ahorita le tome la asistencia. Thank you so much. Welcome. Gracias. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. Cuando estuvimos trabajando las clases con los places in town. Oh, my gosh. Espérame que esta cosa. Oh, my gosh. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Creo que no es. Oh, my gosh. Okay, give me a minute. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, this one is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, here we go. Okay, here we go. So, giving directions. Giving directions, right? We have this expression, not here, no, no, this way, okay, runway, last. Okay, let's take a look at this one, right? Cuando damos directions, también podemos utilizar estas let's say, prepositions. Go straight or phrases. Go straight. Or you can say go ahead or go on. Yes, when we give it directions. But where is located something? Entonces, go straight es que se va. Pues recto, right? Go straight. Go ahead significa the same thing, right? Go ahead or go on. Go on. Yes, go on. Okay. Yeah. So this is our some phrases that we can use. Communicate, right? Entonces, mire como pasa la arrow, right? So se va en esa direction. Okay. Go straight or go on. Luego tenemos turn left. Turn left. Right, so when we were in a prep, right, let's say turn left, turn left, entonces, se levantaba your left hand, levantaba su mano izquierda, right, so turn left, 
turn left. Yes. Y luego tenemos la otra, ¿sí? Que es turn right. ¿Sí? Turn right. Entonces, bueno, ¿qué le dicen a usted? Eh, es mirar. Where, how do I get to the bank? ¿Cómo llego al banco, right? Entonces viene Julio y le dice, ok, mira, go straight, o le dice, go ahead and turn left. Turn left. O le puede decir, go on and turn right. Turn right. Ok. So, this is when we're giving directions to Bowser. Turn left and the bank is in the corner. Right? Yes. So the bank is on first street. So, yeah. So this is what we're giving directions about where is located something. Yes. Okay. Then the most prepositional place. Let's take a look. Are you the millionaire? These ones, Julio, please tell me. Me, teacher. Sorry, Julio, Julio. Okay. Ayúdeme a leer las preposiciones, Julio, please. Thank you. Julio, su micrófono está apagado, sorry. Ah, perdón, perdón. Preposition of place. On, about, over, in front of, beside, next to, below, under, begin. Behind. Behind. Behind, very good. Behind. Okay. Very good. So again, se fijaron, right? In la primera presentation, teníamos algunas, right? Entonces, vamos a ir agregando. Or so you can have, oh, mire esta. Esta no la conocía, right? Yes. Tenemos esta que es beside. Mire. Beside. Aquí está el object, beside. Se parece bastante a la next to, right? 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 It's next to, beside. That is quite similar. Aquí tenemos los que les comentaba la vez pasada, in, cuando está, pues, Dentro de something, right? Under. Okay, under. Mire. Si se fija, under se parece bastante al uh, below. Right, below. Dice. Yes. Eh, below. Below es como estar debajo de una rama de un árbol. ¿O cómo será eso? Fíjese que normalmente. <risa> por eso le digo, por eso le digo. Mire, below and under, pues se parecen, right? Right. Entonces las puede pues cambiar dependiendo. Como hay más distanciamiento según, según la, la Exacto. imagen. Exacto. Entonces en la below hay un poquito más de distanciamiento. Right. Right. Entonces uh, below you can use it cuando hay un poquito más de distanciamiento. Under. Oh, es que under también es bastante similar. Mire. Yo puedo decir I am under the tree. Yes. Estoy debajo del árbol. Right? I am under the tree. Y el tree es alto. Yes. Voy acá, right? So, uh, those, pues, se pueden, pues, cambiar ahí, yes? Y al final, el contexto, pues, es el mismo, yeah? Right? Igual está, beside, con next, okay? Entonces, la que más ocupamos, si se fija, es under. Oh, what is, what is the, my cell phone? Oh, your cell phone is under the book, okay? Under the bed. Es la que más ocupamos. But también tenemos decimos below. Okay. Yes, below. So, uh, fíjese que más que todo, el below, bueno, yo lo ocupo. El under siempre que yo puedo ver el objeto. Ahora bien. Sí, me refiero que, que usted dice, ah, no. Eso está como debajo de algo, ¿vale? Right? También sé que below significa debajo, pero el below normalmente se utiliza en contextos. Por ejemplo, uh, en los libros, right? Sí, en los libros yo no puedo decir under. Yes. La mayoría de veces siempre digo below. Below the picture. Sí. Sí. Como debajo de la foto, right? No digo under. Siempre digo, uh, oh, below the picture van a ver unas instructions. Below the picture you can see instructions. Okay. Or, for example, um, cuando estamos en la casa, right, en el home, tenemos varios objects. Yes. Entonces, por ejemplo, a veces tenemos pictures, o tenemos paintings, o tenemos different things. Entonces, ahí ocupo below. 
Okay, if you see below the picture or below the painting, there is, I don't know, a bookshelf or below, um, that's the way I use below. La mayoría de casos siempre voy con under cuando algo está debajo de algo, en un object. Okay, yes. Um, let me see. O también utilizo below cuando es, por ejemplo, uh, cuando estoy dando cantidades, right? Oh, that's below the one that I was expecting. Right? Cuando se está, por ejemplo, se está vendiendo un product y pues el resultado pues de la venta, right? No es lo que esperaba. Yo que sé, oh, that is below the, um, the sales. You know what I mean? Está abajo de las, de las ventas normales, right? That's below the sales, right? Um, pues, si puedo utilizar under, yes. Pero, pues, uh, en contexto, pues, casi no utiliza. Depende del ¿vale? Entonces, si sí tiende un poquito a confundir, ¿vale? Uh, but you can use both of them, and that will be good. There is, there is no big issue if you use below and under, right? So, at the end, it's, it's quite the same. Okay? Um, here we have more prepositions. Up, up, right? Go up, down. Uh, out of, out of, right, out of, in, otra vez in, in, one more time here, on, under, over, right, over, okay, cuando el conejo jump over the fence, the dog jump over the fence, right, at, mire, across, eh, along, okay, along. So these are other prepositions of, of place. Or uh, directions, okay, or movement. See here, all of them are some movement. We have also in, one more time, on, under, over, behind, between, out, out. For example, out, if you remember the baseball, ahí ocupan el out a cada rato, right? Y le dicen out, okay? Yes. Al, al, al player, right? Far, far. In one more time, on, under, over, well, the same thing. Okay, so these are other prepositions of movement and also prepositions of place that we can use in English. Okay, algunas ya las tienen, entonces no las anoten las que ya tienen, solo hay ser las que you don't know, right? Across, esta across lo utilizamos bastante cuando hagamos direction. Okay. Where is the bank? Oh, the bank is across from the library. Yes. Across from the library. Okay. Yes. Vamos a trabajar con esta, right? Practice. Practice. Now go ahead and try. Let's see. Okay. Tenemos acá. Tenemos el map. Hay un map ahí. Yes. Dígame, please, Maricela Pérez. Ayúdeme. Diga los places que tenemos aquí please, en el map. Eh, que se los perdón que como me dijo stay, stay the places okay. black bank perdón police station store post office library eh, drugs store Movie fish, school, restaurant, hospital, train station, y crunch. Thank you so much. Tenemos church. Church. ¿Sabe qué es una church, Maricela? Uh, no. Okay, a church is the place you can. Este es el más común, right? Yes. People go there yes. and say, Iglesia, teacher. Exactly, Melanie. Very good. A church is, is, is an iglesia, right? A uh, train station here in El Salvador? No, I right. We don't have that. Movie theater? Movie theater? Right? Um, Maricela, do you know what is a movie theater? Cinemar. Eh, eh, ¿Cuál es otro? Nepalese, right? Creo que es otro, ¿ves? Un movie theater. Es un movie theater, ¿ok? Eh, a drugstore. ¿Qué es un drugstore? 
Maricela? Mm, no, drugstore. Sí recuerdo que lo mencionó, pero no, no me recuerdo. Okay. Okay. Un drugstore is where you can get medicine. La acetaminofén. Pharmacy. Acetamina. It's like a pharmacy, exactly. In Nezabo le llamamos farmacia, right? But in English, but in the U.S. they call drugstore. So you can buy medicine. Post yeah. office. El post office, eh, Maricela. ¿Sabe qué es el post office? Una oficina postal. Yes, very good. Exactly. The postal service. Then we have a bank, police station, the store, a library. Right, Maricela, que es una library. Eh, una librería. Eh, no, no. De venta, eh, una, una biblioteca. Yes, very good. Biblioteca. ¿Y cómo decimos eh, librería? En inglés. Library. Eh, no. Library. Bookstore. No. Library. 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 Están en stores. Entonces, una librería, pues aquí en el cargo sería una bookstore y una library sería una biblioteca. Yes. La library es una biblioteca. Don't, don't get confused. Ok. Entonces, the number one. Lea la number one, Isabel, please, de Orellana. Lea la number one. The police station is. The bank and the store. The bank and the store. So, what is the preposition of place? Que utiliza? Between. The police station is between, between the bank and the store. Oh, very good. Okay. Entonces, utilizo between. Mire, busco el bank. Aquí está el bank, right? Mire. Y luego dice, and the store. Aquí está el store, ¿vale? Right? Mire, aquí está, ¿eh? The police station is between the bank and the store. Yes, very good. Very good. Oh. Okay, so Juan Carlos López. Thank you. Number two, Juan Carlos. The drugstore is uh -huh. uh, in front the police station. Okay, let's check. Okay. Sí. ¿Por qué vamos a ocupar a Crossroad, Carlos? Porque tenemos que cruzarnos de la calle, ¿vale? ¿No? La police station uh -huh. está en un lado. Entonces yo tengo que cruzarme, ¿vale? Desde la police station para llegar a la store, a la drugstore. Entonces por eso le pongo a Crossroad. A Crossroad. Okay. A Crossroad. Okay. Very good. Great job. Thank you so much. Um, Rosa Salazar, number three. Number three, Rosa Salazar. The school is um, uh, at teacher. Okay, continue. At the restaurant. At the restaurant. Okay, vamos a ver. Next. Oh Espérame, que ya le di la otra. Okay. It's next, <laughs> next to. Next to. Next to. Entonces, miren, aquí está la school. And next to. Next to the restaurant, right? Next to the restaurant. So the school is next to the restaurant. So yes. This is the way we communicate. Yes. Very good. Yes? Podría ser beside. No. Behind, pero ¿cuál sería? Eh, oh, no, no podría ser behind, porque en el contexto, cuando usted vaya caminando por acá, pues, on mm. Central Avenue, pues usted, acuérdese que behind, ¿qué dijimos que era behind? Al, al lado. No, no. Detrás. 
Entonces, basado en el contexto del meaning de la palabra, no. Okay. No podemos poner behind. Tal vez le no, podemos beside, poner... Beside, oh, teacher. Perdón, beside. Oh, beside. Oh, yes. Very beside. good. Ahí sí podemos ocupar mm -hmm. beside. Beside. Ahí sí, Blanca. Very good. Yes, yes. Beside the restaurant. Beside mm -hmm. the restaurant. Very good. Yes. Ahí. That is correct. Very good. Great job. Y la otra, pues ya se las dio. Sorry. That was very fast. Um, Fátima. Ayúdeme, Fátima, con la number four. Number four, please. Bueno, no puede traer agua. Okay. ¿Puede participar, Fátima? ¿No? ¿No? Sí, es que, es que no me había podido meter, me acaba de meter porque estoy en otra reunión. Oh, Eso ya me estaba acordando. Ok, entiendo lo que estamos haciendo. Eh, eh, pues está, necesita que le dé algo de feedback ahí. ¿No? Sí, por favor. Ok, estamos trabajando con las prepositions of place para indicar dónde está un building, o location o un store. Ok, acuérdense, por ejemplo, esta es tu ciudad, ¿verdad? Right? Imaginémonos que esta es Oyapán, right? Y tenemos todos esos places, right? And we want to communicate dónde está algo, right? Entonces, cuando la gente nos pregunte, hey, mire, ¿dónde está el drugstore? ¿Dónde está el bank? Pues podemos decirle, oh, mire, pues el, el, el bank is next to the police station on Main Street. Yes. Entonces, estamos utilizando esas prepositions para indicar where is located. Julio, ayúdeme with number four, please, Julio. Your mic, your mic is off. The, the train station is across uh, from. All right. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> no, tiene buena vista, right? Yeah, that's very good. Right? Across from the school. So, vamos a buscar the school, right? Y el train station, mire. Vamos a utilizar siempre across porque tengo que cruzarme la calle. So, across from. Okay. That is the way I use across. Excuse me, teacher. Rosa. Cuando se cruza la calle, siempre es across. Yes, yes. Siempre oh. va a ser across. Siempre va a ser across from. Across from the school. Okay. Train station. Very good. Thank you. And Maricela, ayúdeme with number five. Thank you. Okay. Maricela, They don't store in. Creo yo que es Nestú. The mobile teacher um they post office okay the drugstore is vamos a instalar la drugstore identifica la drugstore en el mapa yes right so we have a drugstore y luego tenemos movie theater and the post office entonces cuántos objects menciona cuántos places menciona después menciona un place o dos oh. places Menciona two places. Okay. Okay. Hay una palabra, Maricela, que ocupamos between. y siempre mencionamos between. esos dos lugares, que es between. Si ustedes se fijan, en la number one dice the bank and the store. Siempre mm -hmm. que vayamos a utilizar between, siempre vamos a mencionar los dos places que están en la mano. Ah, ok. Entre. Exacto. En medio. En medio, right? Okay. Entonces, en... Salvadoreño le okay. En medio, right? Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Gracias. Oh, this is the way. En medio. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Entonces, we're working with places that we have uh, in the city. Okay. Okay, voy a, voy a dejar de compartir. Thank you. Give me a Okay. Okay. Ahora vamos a trabajar con la next one. Yes, que es este. Right. Vamos a tener la picture here. Ayúdame a ver la picture, please, Esmeralda. What do you see in the picture? Mm. 
A description, teacher. Yes, tell me, what is in the picture? The, in the house. A house, okay. What is, in, what is the name the, of this one? In the house, uh, mm, the, the tree. A tree, a tree, very a tree, good. A tree, a car. A car. A house, a dog. A dog, very good. Um, a son. The a sun. Aquí vamos a ocupar el artículo, the sun. The sun. The sun. Yes. Y here is? The sun is the house. Oh, very good. A house, right. Is this the city or this the country? The country. The country, right? So the house is in the country. Very good. Mm -hmm. For example, the house is in front. Oh, very good. In front the car. Hmm. Okay, podemos the, the options, the, right? Behind. Aquí tenemos, the house is in front of the car, probably, that is good, or the house is behind the car, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. The top the micro red, Blanca, very good. Okay. Thank you. Great job. Let's continue with, with Juan Carlos, number two, Juan Carlos, please, thank you. The top is... Uh, um, beside the sun. Okay, 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 let's check. So we're going to use oh. below. Below. Below, okay. Yes, it's because of the context, right? If you have a sun, usually it's on your skill, right? So it's over there. So we can say below. Very good. Thank you so much. Um, Maria uh, Salazar de Fabian, thank you. Number three. Rosa Maria Salazar, thank you. Number three. Teacher, este, excuse me, three, three, three. ¿Qué, qué es el, el árbol? Ah, ya, ya, ya. Very good. Gracias. The three is to the, to the, besides, next to. Okay. Let's see, me dio dos opciones, right? Of the house. Okay. okay. <laughs> At least. Exactly. The tree is on the left of the house. On the left of the house. Okay. okay. For the context of the grammar point, vamos a utilizar left. On the left of the house. Very good. Thank you so much. Yes. Vamos a pedirle a Nubia. Thank you, Nubia. Ay, espera, espera, espera. Nubia. <laughs> The car is uh, across from okay, the car try. is across from the house. Across. Okay. Lo que estaba diciendo Blanca, right? In front of. Ah, in front. In front. Um, bueno. Okay. Si usted se fija, mira el contexto. En la primera usamos the house is behind the car. Entonces, en la, pues en la vista que tenemos, antes es el car y luego Frente. está the house. Por eso tenemos the house is behind. Pero aquí es, estamos hablando del car. So the car oh. is in the front. Sí, es que estaba la... viendo aquí traduciendo lo de la de la calle. Tiene razón ahí. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. No, that's okay. Yeah. Es, es depende de lo que nosotros, o sea, es depende de la primera palabra, ¿verdad? Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. That is correct. Okay. Perfect, wonderful. Let's work with you, Jennifer. Jennifer, puede participar? Number five. Okay. The song is... 
Eh, on the dog, no. Okay, let's say. Above. Oh, above. Very good. Above. Above, above. above the dog. The dog is above the law. No. That's very good. Wonderful. Very good. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, Areli Garcia Martinez, number six. Please, thank you. Areli, Aleida Areli. Yes, puede participar? No, let's work with Ernesto Arias. Ernesto, thank you. Number six. Ooh, Ernesto? Hello? No? Okay. Ana Elizabeth Campos. Ana Elizabeth Campos. Number six. The same. Yes. The house is between the dog and the tree. Oh my gosh. Very good. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Between. Mm -hmm. Mire, acuérdese. Cuando tenemos between, al final mencionamos los dos objects, right? Very good, Ana. That was wonderful. Cristian Romero, number seven. In the front of Gustavo. Uh, eh. Ya lo dije, no lo veo ahorita. <laughs> ¿Lo ve lo último? Hasta el six ve ahorita. Ok, bueno, sí, hay, es que a veces por el, por el tamaño de la presentación no se ve. El, el, el de las cosas. Pero el de las cosas sería right. The dog right. is right on the uh, of the house. Ok, I'm sorry. Okay. Bueno, vamos a poder cambiar de presentación y tenemos esta fácil acá, miren. Recuerden que podemos trabajar con diferentes, ¿vale? Right? Tenemos places, locations, con la picture y podemos clasificar y aquí tenemos... Teacher. De acá, ajá. ¿Será que nos puede hacer el favor de poner otra vez las imágenes de las... las que se puso acá, de posiciones? Espérame, para que poner... Okay, ¿Esta? En las que, bueno, las que puso primeros. Ok, ¿qué sería? Espérame, espérame. Espérame que esta cosa la tengo programada. ¿Esta? Este, eh, de las primeras que puso, pero si no, hay después, teacher. Es donde salen todas las preposiciones. Las preposiciones. Sí, donde sale el cat. El cat. Ajá. Sí. La primera. Pero oh, la no, primera. es que esta la tengo, la tengo en, otra, en otra presentación. Ah, es. Esa. ¿Dónde? Sí. Las tengo en otra presentación. Ya se la voy a poner. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ya le tomo que tú. Ya le tomo que tú. Ya, ya. Ok, perfecto. That's okay. Vamos ahí. Esta cosa está bien programada. Ok. Tenemos la number one. Uh -huh. Milagro, Granados. Thank you. Hola. Hello. Es under. Ok, lea la sentence. Please. Please, thank you. The cat yeah. is under the table. Oh, yes. Very good. The cat is under the table. Very good. Yes. Very good. Um, sí, oh, my gosh. Okay, Maricela, number two. Maricela Pérez. Uh, the bus in the tablet. Okay, in, in. Acuérdese que in, cuando está dentro de algo, right? The base in. is. Oh. oh, very good. Sería on. Very good. Sería on. Acuérdese oh. que el on. Oh, my God. <laughs> On es cuando usted puede ver el objeto. Right? So you see the object. And in es cuando está dentro. Right? The flowers are in the base. In the okay. base. See the flowers here? They are in the base. Okay? Okay. Very okay. good. Espérame que voy a cambiar the presentation. La que su compañero estaba diciendo era esta, right? Yeah. Esta que está acá. Yes? This one? Okay. 
Vamos a ver. Ya te Ok, perfect, perfect. Sí, lo que pasa es que aquí tenía la otra presentación que tengo que poner. Aquí tenemos otro map. Mira, ayúdeme a identificar los places, please. Rosa, Salazar. Tell me. Tell me places, please. Thank you. Gas, gas station. Eh, doctor Hospital, eh, U.S. Post Office, Second Avenue, Avenue Box Store, Davis Droger, Droguería, eh, ¿verdad, Tiche? Second Avenue, eh, City Bank, Harrow's Department Store, eh, Market Street, este, este, eh, Manas Restaurant Main es, Esto es este, Es verdad yes, Main Street P y J Supermarket Choose A Y S Coffee Shop Globe Mobile Der, de, der okay. eh, Park Es eh, there Avenue. Así. Very good. Aquí tenemos que leerlo en inglés, las letras, right? Rosa. Ok, I uh, have yeah. P y e P N uh, uh -huh. Se me olvidó. <laughs> P and J. P yeah. and J, supermarket. Yeah, supermarket. Exacto. Acuérdense que esta cosa que está acá es, es el E, right? Ajá. Okay. Entonces, en inglés lo único que hacemos lo debemos en inglés. Right? So, the coffee shop is on Main Street. It's... Tenemos shoe store. ¿Cuál sería el, la preposición que vamos a ocupar acá? La de este... Ay, ya le digo a teacher. In front, teacher. No, I'm sorry. Aquí está la Main Street, right? Queen. Entonces, the coffee shop me dice que está on Main Street. Main eh, Street. It's two store. Ese está en cross from. No, I'm sorry. Alguien que le ayude, please. Somebody help her. Next to. Oh, oh, next to. Very good. Next to. Next to. Next to. That's correct. Next to. Next to. Next to the shoe store. Aquí tenemos el coffee shop. Yes. Yes, the shoe store. Y, miren, aquí vengo yo, right? Vengo caminando acá, yes. Ajá. Y digo, oh, porque está on Main Street. Vengo caminando y dice, oh, it's next to the shoe store. Aquí está la shoe store, entonces está next to, right? Very good. Okay. Right. Podría ser, teacher. Uh -huh. Turn left. Mm, no, I'm sorry. No podría ser turn left porque um, porque acuérdense que cuando utilizamos el turn left es como cuando usted le está diciendo a alguien, okay, so go straight, go straight, correcto, and turn left. Yes. Right, entonces vengo muy recto, right? Y luego, pues doblo la derecha. Right? Perdón. Okay. <laughs> okay. Entonces, así es como voy a ocuparlo ahí, right? Cuando hay un local, por ejemplo, aquí que está next to, es más fácil utilizar next to porque me dice, oh, está la shoe store, está next to, hay una parte. Okay. Julio, ¿qué es cierto? Bueno, no me El movie The movie teacher is. Um, the movie. No puede ser near. Hay una sola proposición que utilizamos con, con calles. Solo hay una que utilizamos con calles. Across. Across from. Yeah. On. On. Oh, very good. On. Very good. Yes. On, hard on. On. Siempre lo vamos a utilizar con calles. Right? Siempre. Que, por ejemplo, aquí en la primera teníamos Main Street. Uh -huh. 
En la segunda tenemos on Park and Third. Aquí tenemos Park Street and Third Avenue. Very good. It. Ajá, Julio, ¿cuál sería? Across from. Exactly. Across. Okay. From. Oh my gosh. Across from. Across from the park. Entonces, aquí está el park. Y ahí sí puedo utilizar across, porque tengo que usarme, ¿verdad? Street. Across from the park. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Vamos a pedirle a Christian. Number three. Number three. Uh... The gas station is across from the parking lot. Okay, good. Thank you. Across from the parking lot, it's. It's. Oh. Exactly. ¿Cuál es la única que siempre ocupamos con nombres de calles? On, ah, yes. On. Siempre que tengamos un nombre de calle como primera, segunda, eh, park, eh, masterrer, siempre vamos a utilizar on. Ok. Siempre que tengamos un nombre de calle, always is going to be on. Thank you. Very good. Yes. Eh, milagro, number four. The post office. The post office is. Continue leyendo. Continue leyendo, please. Oh, pero es que no se quiero. Okay. Porque no. Sí, no, no, no se preocupe. Termi continúe leyendo. Ok. The post office is main in second. It's ok, ahí, hasta ahí, hasta ahí. Right? Cuando llegue ahí, entonces ahí ya tiene que tener una pauta usted. Oh, ¿cuál preposición es? Main and second. ¿Qué es eso? Main and second. Uh, Milagro. Es la calle, entonces se ve on. Oh, very good, very good. Mire, I bought it, right? On. Yes, very good. Continue. It's. It's. Next to. Oh, okay. Let me see. Hospital. <laughs> no veo el hospital. Is it? No. Oh, what no. is that hospital? No veo el hospital. Eh. ¿Usted lo por ahí? Arriba, teacher. Oh, el helicóptero. Oh, okay. Yes, very good. Okay. It's. It's next to. Oh, yes, very good. Next, next to. to. Next to. Okay. It's next to. The hospital. The hospital. Yeah. Okay. Very good. What about number five? Number five. That is for you. Blanca Esmeralda Mendoza. Thank you. Blanca, hello. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Blanca, Blanca. No puede ser ese micrófono, creo que tiene conveniente. The, va the oh, van is across. Uh, no, between. Very good. Ahí va, mire. Between. Between. Que no se mire. Ah, the restaurant and the department store. It. Uh, it on. It's on. Third Third Avenue. Avenue. Very good. Yes. Por eso siempre le pido, no, lea un poquito más allá, so you can get more details, mm -hmm. para que tenga más detalles about this, right? Okay? Very okay, good. The, okay. Yes, Blanca. Very good. Okay. So this is the way we use the prepositions when it comes to communicate where is located somewhere. Right? Yes. So in our city or in our neighborhood, we have this place, uh, street names, right? Tenemos first, third, second. 
A veces le ponen nombres, por ejemplo. Pablo II, right? I don't know, Roosevelt Street. Or I don't know, Mastarera Street. Or I don't know, Los Profesores Street. So, I don't know. That, that's why they call it, right? La Revolución Avenue, right? Uh, so they, they use the name. Entonces, siempre que tengan una calle, un nombre de calle, siempre van a ir con on. Okay, on Roosevelt, on, uh, I don't know, First Street, on Jack on the Street, and so on and so on. Okay, but this is the way we use uh, this one. Give me a minute. Then I have what else do we have? Good job, good job. Okay. My gosh. Okay, vamos a ver si completamos esto si nos alcanza el time, que ya no tengo mucho. Okay, we hit this conversation. Okay, tenemos esta conversación. Ah, Jesus. No lo voy a pasar. Y voy a decir, excuse me. Tenemos esta conversation with these phrases, right? Tenemos estas conversations aquí, estas phrases, y vamos a ocuparlas here. Number one, excuse me, can you help me? Sure. ¿Cuál sería la next one? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería la next one? Well, West Street. On West Street. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Ve veamos la respuesta que nos da la woman. Yes, there is. It's in the supermarket on West. So is there it? a restaurant here? Oh, very good. Le voy a poner aquí la number two y le voy a poner la number two. Okay, so, excuse me, can you help me? Sure. Is there a restaurant around here? Yes, there is. It's on the supermarket on West. See? Mm -hmm. Thank you. What's the use of Well, on West. Excuse me? Where on West Street? Where on West Street? Very Where good. on West Street? Very good. Continue. The tree. The tree. Very good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Juan, Carlos, what is the next one? Next to the Chinese. Next to the Chinese restaurant. Oh, very good. Yes. And the last one is going to be this one, right? Okay, tenemos un time. Vamos a pedirle a Juan Carlos. Usted va a estar Juan Carlos. En Maritela, usted va a ser the woman. Ready? Let's begin. Excuse me. Can you help me? Maritela, su micrófono está apagado. I'm sorry. Okay, perdón. Is there a restroom or hair? No, es que Maricela se va a hacer aquí, la woman, la woman, ¿ok? Sure. Ah. Okay, Juan sure. Carlos, one more time, please, thank you. Excuse me, can you help me? Sure. Is there a restroom around here? Yes, there is. Is in the supermarket on West Street. Where on West Street? It's on the corner of West Street and Three Avenue. Next to the Chinese restaurant. Yes, the is rain in Israel next to the cines restaurant. Restaurant. Thanks a lot. You are welcome. Thank you. Tenemos Third Avenue, Chinese restaurant. Chinese restaurant. Yes, that's right. That's right. Okay, people. 
Thank you so much for your participation. Uh, unfortunately, Thanks. it's time to go to bed. Good job, good practice in your English, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Good care. night. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Wonderful. Great job.